to our beloved son, Gary Anthony Franken, we appoint you and constitute you Bishop of St. Paul in Alberta. Beloved son, we urge you, you strive to bring everyone to faith in the Son of God and obedience to the Lord's commandments. Several years ago, I was at the installation of a new bishop. He looked at all of us bishops who were present, resplendent in mitres and pectoral crosses and Episcopal rings, and he challenged us. He said that we all looked like bishops, but what was important was that we be bishops and act as true bishops. Like the great bishop saints, such as John Fisher, Ambrose, Augustine, Charles Borromeo, who had a portrait of John Fisher on his desk, and Francis de Sales, who brought people to Christ through the irresistible combination of clarity and charity. We who are ordained to the Episcopate need not just to look like bishops, but to be bishops, through and through, faithful and true. As the prayer says when the Episcopal ring is received, receive the ring, the seal of fidelity, and adorned with undefiled faith, preserve unblemished the bride of God, the Holy Church. And at the bestowal of the crozier, receive the crozier, the sign of pastoral office, and keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has placed you as bishop to govern the Church of God. Like all Christians, bishops are called to nothing less than holiness. Lord, according to your promise that the gospel should be preached throughout the whole world, raise up men fitting for such work. The apostles were but soft and yielding clay until they were baked hard by the fire of the Holy Ghost. So good, Lord, do now in like manner with thy church militant. Change and make the soft and slippery earth into hard stones set in thy church, strong and mighty pillars. They may suffer and endure great labors, watching, poverty, thirst, hunger, cold, heat, which also shall not fear the threatenings of princes, persecution, neither death, Therefore, merciful Lord, exercise thy mercy and shower it indeed upon the church. Amen.